Hello everyone today we are ready with another important topic in English that is punctuation marks yes punctuation marks are very important for written english in spoken english when we speak we indicate our expression with different pauses and that help our listeners understand us well but how to indicate those in written how to indicate pauses in our written english how to indicate those signals which express us in written very well yes these are punctuation marks which help us express ourselves clearly in written expression so today we will be learning about different punctuation marks and their uses to make our readers understand the expression clearly let's get started with punctuation marks so very first thing that we are going to learn that why do we need punctuation marks yes why do we need punctuation marks because writers use capital letters and punctuation marks to help the reader better understand what is written because it can radically alter the meaning of a text because it helps readers to understand what writers are trying to say punctuation help because it helps writers to be clear in what they are trying to communicate so we can conclude that punctuation marks can drastically change the meaning of sentence if they are misplaced once they are misplaced the meanings have been changed and readers are not expressed communicated clearly so let get started with this example how meanings are changed when we misplace or move the punctuation this is this one sentence with moving of Uh, punctuation the radical meaning the basic meaning of sentence is changed and different meanings are conveyed for example what is this thing called love 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 so you see there are different expressions of this and all these sentences indicate different meanings and senses so when we change the position of uh, the punctuation the very basic meaning of sentence has been altered so that is why learning and learning to use punctuation rightly is very important so let's get started with our first punctuation mark that is capitalization yes capitalization is also punctuation marks and this is basic but we commonly make mistakes in punctuation marks while using capitals so let us learn how to capitalize rightly number 1 use it all sentences begin with capital letters you can see with redded letter v enjoyed reading the book those girls finish the cleaning the counter the second usage proper nouns begin with capital letters mrs shake asked if anisa would help uncle rehan took us to ketaxila the third usage the pronoun i yes the common mistake that we always make with the personal pronoun i is always capitalized no matter it comes in the beginning of the sentence in the middle of sentence in the end of sentence we will capitalize personal pronoun i let's see i don't need your help my aunt and i picked up the papers so you see how it is capitalized so don't forget to capitalize the personal pronoun i the other uses of capitalization a capital letter begins the first last and any important word in the title of a book magazine song movie poem or other work example read the last chapter of tom sayer now tom sayer is a book she saw snow white when she was 5 years old so this is the name of a movie so snow and white the first letters are capitalized you can see on the screen with red colors we use capital letters this is another usage of capitalization we use capital letters to begin a new sentence for proper nouns which are the names of people places book and film titles can you think of any proper nouns which need a capital letter yes there are many can you think of those 
Examples, Javeria, who lived in King Street, Multon, had a pet frog who liked to jump in the air. She wrote a book about it called The Leaping Frog. So, let's move forward. Now, another capital, uh, another punctuation mark that is full stops. Yes, very common, but its usage is very important. Why do we need full stops? Full, full stops or periods. Full stop we call in British English and periods we call it in American English are needed to divide up sentences so that we know where to pause. They are used when we have finished saying one thing and we are going on to say something else. A complete sentence that makes a statement ends with a period. Example, it's your birthday. You blow out the candle. So let us do an exercise. Can you spot where we need full stops? Read it yourself first. Yes. Salim was eating a large pizza. Now sentence ends here. We will put a full stop here. Then the pronoun he. It would be capitalized. Remember that once a new sentence has begun, don't forget to capitalize the first letter. He was getting fed up with it. Full stop. He capitalized H. He decided to give the rest to a beggar. Full stop. The, the is capitalized T. The beggar was happy. Full stop. So this is how you can capitalize and use the full stops. Now another usage. A full stop, most abbreviation end with a period. Example, doctor, full stop. Betty lives on Jina Road. Now, Jina Road is dotted, abbreviated. Near Sea Breeze Hospital, full stop. 129 College Road, full stop. J. Dot K. Dot Rowling. Miss. Dot Kiran, doctor, full stop, Asim. So when we use abbreviation, don't forget to use the full stops. It's very important. So let us understand another important punctuation mark that is commas. A comma is the shortest pause. It is the shortest pause in a sentence. We use commas to separate items in a list. Example, she had a sandwich, comma, a drink, comma, a jelly and a chocolate bar for lunch. You see how these things have been separated by the comma. My favorite animals are giraffes, comma, dogs, comma, cats and birds. Full stop. This is how you are going to enlist the items and separate them with the commas. And in the end, the vinyl item would be separated with the conjunction and so another usage of comma any other reason for commas yes use a comma before the words and but or nor and yet when they join two independent clauses in a sentence remember an independent clause is a group of words that can stand alone as a complete sentence he is an efficient worker, comma, and the management is happy with his performance. We also use commas to separate clauses in complex sentences. No matter there is a use of those conjunction, but without those conjunction, separating those complex sentences by using the commas. Example, the boy was playing with a football, comma, which had been signed by Ronaldo. So you see here how this sentence is divided into two parts with the usage of comma. So this is what the use of comma is. Yes, another important punctuation, apostrophe. We commonly make mistakes in it. Yes, let us uh, see the usages of apostrophe. Number one usage. Use an apostrophe to indicate position or ownership by singular or plural words. So you see company's car now here it is singular company apostrophe s so it shows position now company's car 
when you are going to make a apostrophe or use the apostrophe for possessive in a plural we will always put apostrophe after the s so you see companies cars another usage use an apostrophe to show the omission missing of one or more letters in a contraction you see it's the contracted form of it is they are you are we are so this is what we use for contraction use an apostrophe and the letters to specify the plurals of numbers and letters we make plurals of numbers or letters by using the apostrophe and s for example i need 10 hundreds there are two m's in commodity you see m's there are lots of p's in your writing for example so we make plurals of letters or number by using apostrophe yes another usage of apostrophe use an apostrophe before abbreviated dates for example completed in 65s in 60s in 90s for example another usage to show the possessive singular of compound words add an apostrophe and the letter s at the end of the compound word for example vice president this is a compound word vice president salary if it is plural we will make the plurals like this vice president's salaries so you see the plural is made of compound word after putting s okay after the s we put the apostrophe another usage of apostrophe use an apostrophe for expression of value and time a year's vacation four years vacation now you see the value and time both are together and we have made the position or have used apostrophe to show the position of this another usage of apostrophe to indicate joint position by two or more words in a series connected by conjunctions use the apostrophe and the letter s after the last pronoun only noun only example amir and asif's property means both of the person have that single property and that is why we put or uh, use the apostrophe with the second noun that is asif but both have the separate one then we will use like this amir's and asif's properties okay so both have the separate uh, properties if both of them are, are the partners we will use the apostrophe with the second noun okay so very important last usage of uh, apostrophe the possessive pronouns hers his its yours ours theirs and whose are never written with apostrophes here we make most common mistake for example yours most of the students uh, professionals even use apostrophe in yours there is no word like yours with apostrophe remember that the possessive pronoun yours is without apostrophe so we make exclamation marks yes that is very important for the usage purpose you can express strong feelings or excitement ending your statement with an exclamation mark used it is used to emphasize meaning give a word more strength show someone is shouting it a sense of urgency examples what a beautiful place now it's exclamation it shows sudden feelings how to express this sudden feeling in written by using the exclamation what a horrible accident now in spoken our tone indicates that exclamation that sudden feeling but in written we use that mark that exclamation mark to indicate that sudden feeling that is why usage of exclamation mark is very important yes the important punctuation there is colon a colon is always a clue to the reader that more information will follow immediately use a colon to introduce a list or series example pakistan's exports include these fruits mangoes quinoas and apples now you see here the list have been indicated 
यूज अ कॉलन बिटवीन नंबर डिनोटिंग टाइम रेशियोज एंड वॉल्यूम्स अ स्पेस डज नॉट प्रोसीड और फॉलो अ कॉलन दैट सेपरेट नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल टेन ट्वेंटी एम नाउ टेन ट्वेंटी लुक एट देर द आवर्स एंड द मिनट्स हैव बीन सेपरेट विद द यूजेज ऑफ द कॉलन फोर रेशियो सेवन वी हैव इंडिकेटेड द रेशियो विद द यूज ऑफ कॉलन वॉल्यूम इलेवन पेजेस वन टू सिक्स we even used the colon in the use of quranic ayats to separate the chapters from the ayats and surahs so this is how colon is used the further a colon shows the reader that a list or explanation will follow for example i will need the following items colon scissors comma paper a glue and paint the colon is made with two periods it is used for time it and it comes before a list example 11:35 pm i will need the following items from the store bananas comma grapes watermelon and lemons so this is how we use the colon yes let's come to the very end part of our today's video that is multiple choice question let us check what we have learned the very first question is a comma is option a a pretty design to make your writing interesting b is the shortest pause in a sentence c is always used at the end of a sentence d is used before introducing list so what's your guess yes right answer is option b a comma is the shortest pause in a sentence okay the next question is capital letters option a are a waste of time should be used for all adjectives c should be used for all proper nouns d should be used for all common nouns yes what's your guess yes of course the option number c should be used for all proper nouns okay the third question full stops a option always come at the end of a sentence b are always used at the beginning of a sentence c mean to stop the car at a red light d are more important than half stops so what's your guess yes of course option a always come at the end of sentence okay so this is what the punctuation marks are and with this we come to the very important uh, lecture and the video about the punctuation marks i hope you have understood the very basic usages of those punctuation marks and i hope you are going to use these punctuation marks marks in your write ups to indicate the writers the readers and express express yourself clearly i wish you all the best thank you